Hi everyone, this is Joy and welcome back to my channel. My project for you today is for Spellbinders and I'm using the new Love Block stamp set and I'm going to be coloring in those floral images with some zig markers. Now in my Misty I have a piece of watercolor cardstock and I'm prepping that with an anti-static powder tool because we will be doing some heat embossing. I'm inking up my image with Versamark clear embossing ink. Any clear embossing ink will work just fine. I'm going to ink that up a few times to really get a good crisp image and I'm going to come in with some gold embossing powder. I'm going to sprinkle that on and heat that with my heat tool until it's nice and melted. And once you put that on there, it reveals how pretty this image is. I love that the letters are all solid and then you've got the open areas of the florals that you get to color. So once I've heated this through, I'm going to do some coloring with my zig markers. The colors I'm using are cobalt blue, Parisian green, pink, violet, emerald green, and yellow. And what I like to do when I'm using my zig markers is I like to lay a little bit of color down, dip my paintbrush into some water, lightly tapping that off on a paper towel so I don't bring too much water to my paper, and then just blending out that color from the darkest part to the lightest end. And when I'm going through on the same image, I might need to wipe off some of that color that your paint brush is going to collect. I do that because I don't want my images to be too dark. I want to have a shadow darker area and a lighter area. So with one color, I get some dimension the way that I'm coloring it. So as you can see there, I'm just laying down a little bit of color, not coloring the whole image, coming in with a little bit of that water on the end of my brush and blending that out. I'm not going to show you all of the images because I'm going to color them all pretty much the same. But I'm just going to finish adding all of my colors to all of these little images. There's hearts and leaves and different types of flowers and little round flowers. And so I just think this is a really beautiful stamp set. So this is what it looks like when it's done. And aren't those colors so beautiful against that gold embossing powder? Now back in my Misty, I have a piece of vellum card cardstock and I am using the sentiments that says all my, and I'm actually going to ink that up with the Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide ink. And I'm gonna ink that up a few times. And I'm actually gonna take my heat gun to that to make sure that it's nice and dry before I trim this down. This actually is two sentiments that come in this Love Block stamp set. There's quite a few sentiments that you can make a bunch of different phrases with the background love stamp. So now that I have that trimmed out, I am just trimming really small, thin pieces of foam tape and actually hiding that behind my stamped sentiment. And I'm going to pop this up in the center between the two lines of text. And I love that it's vellum because you can still see the images behind it. I originally thought I was going to stamp the sentiments onto some white cardstock. It just didn't look as pretty. And this is a really kind of a dainty card. And so vellum worked perfect. Now I trimmed that down quite a bit smaller. I've added a gold mirror mat to a white A2 size card base, added some foam tape behind this card panel and centered that in. And now we've got some real beautiful dimension. I'm gonna come in with some gold foil pieces from Studio Katya and just add a few of those in and around. I'm gonna use some liquid glue to adhere those down. I just really wanted to keep in the gold theme, but really pink sequence or blue, I mean, any of the colors that you used would be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm using some of that Barely glue. It's actually the Barely Art glue to adhere those down. And then as soon as I'm done with that, this card is completely finished. And look at how beautiful this is. I love the gold with all of those bright, beautiful colors, but you really could change up this design between how you're coloring the flowers or the color of embossing powder that you're using. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project. Please subscribe to my channel, like, thumbs up, and comment, and I will be back here soon. Bye.